Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys just a really cool game that I played where it wasn't uh, so much of like a scam pirate build. It was just a super primo quality pirate build and it was on the back of getting tons of golden pirates through Tony. Tony is a Tavern 5 pirate. I believe it's Avenge 4. Make a pirate golden permanently. And this effect is one that is really challenging to use because um, you have a lot of board space issues and consistency issues. But if you can pull it off in a phase of the game where if you lose, you're not likely to take too much damage, like you can afford taking some hits, it can create some boards that are like literally not possible otherwise. And when you have a situation like that, well, personally, I gotta try it. Oh, I know. I'll play Diablo and kill everyone. Oh, that's fine. Right. I've been digging Finley. Off chance to get an armored up tier one hero. It's pretty cool, actually. God, I want to show you guys. I don't go to the Battleground subreddit too often. But, like, look at this shit. Get rid of Diablo. 164 upvotes. That's as many people as use this Reddit. Look at this. I love playing Battlegrounds. Thanks for the fun of balanced content, Blizzard. Yeah, this this is a subreddit for people who and the, who want to like create a positive narrative around Battlegrounds more so than the original subreddit. So these are like entirely Battlegrounds fans. Like, it might sound like I'm exaggerating, but it's really not an exaggeration. Oh shit, I shouldn't have taken that. All the upvoted posts are like, fuck Diablo. <laughs> okay, like, that should be a pretty good metric for Blizzard to do something, you would think. Fucking Battlegrounds fan club ain't having any more of it. Actually, pretty good. I think I'll freeze those. You've never been given the choice of Diablo. What? There's no way that's true, dude. There's just absolutely no way. You have true ah, damn it. I guess maybe he played one game. You've only played 15 to 20 games. Ah, I'm sure you've gotten the Diablo then, dude. Normally, you're supposed to just spam roll until you get another token card, but the problem is that I picked a Deathwing without realizing that beasts are not in, which is a pretty big problem. Yeah. It's your little sister's birthday today. Can I play some arena for her? No. I don't believe that. Sorry. I checked, and it is nobody's birthday today. No one was born on this day. Little Jesus. No, that's the wrong day, hon. Yes, yes, it's the turkey bit, that's right. Yeah, the reason no one was born on Thanksgiving is because uh, all the soon to be moms fucking sucked it up and ate turkey. Okay, it's a fact. Okay. You realize Thanksgiving is on a different day every year, right? No. Thanksgiving is always on Thanksgiving Day. Always. <laughs> I did finish the arcade. I thought it could have ended it a bit better, but it's still a good show. Spoilers. It's not over. I mean, I can talk about it without spoiling it one bit. I'm an expert on these things. No. 
Nothing scares me. It's one of those ending endings where it's like, use your imagination. And that works if you, like, set up, like, a rich, like, sci-fi fantasy, you know, kind of thing. But it doesn't work so well when the thing is basically an ad for you to play League of Legends. <laughs> all right, all right. But all right, overall, it's a very good show. I recommend you watch it. An example of a good imagination ending. Someone cited Inception in chat. There you go. I don't even remember how Interstellar ended, but I remember having that feeling at the end of Interstellar. Pose could use those. Heroes must make sacrifices. The United for Dalaran. <laughs> I love catching some waves. Okay. Arcane has a bigger marketing budget than TFT and Legends of Runeterra combined. They've been adding a lot of content to Runeterra. Granted, they're kind of following the whole Blizzard thing, where you just make a bunch of different game modes instead of pushing people to play Constructed too much more. But I think that's the correct path. I mean, you know, I think that's, that's what you want to be doing. Why don't they update TFT? I thought it was still a pretty big game for them. No rest for the weary hero. My only issue with TFT in terms of like a long-term playability is it was just too... Um, it was too powerful to force the same builds. Wait, where's my cap guard? Oh, I guess my cap guard got sniped. Huh? Plays battlegrounds. All right, dude. Like, okay, I haven't played TFT in a while, but I'm not wrong here. Like, the last big thing I played was in the in that, like, major Twitch Rivals event for TFT, where the best build was, like, uh, Ninjas, I think it was. And almost every single lobby, almost every single player forced Ninjas. And, like, I didn't really play that game when the event happened. I kind of fell off and started doing other stuff. And I finished like seventh in the event. And people who had been playing that game like 15 hours a day, every single day since it was released, didn't even qualify for the second day. I think the only player who actually like played that game full time that qualified for the second day was Skara, if I remember correctly. Like, it was so sad. Like, <laughs> so sad. And the difference was, the people that played the game all the time, I guess they thought that there were better ways to play the game instead of forcing the same build every single time. And they were wrong. The best way to play that game was to force the same build every single time, and we proved it. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I don't know. Alright. Except mice. So different than BG has never been best to force a build here. No, the uh, card pool was always too limited. Even though it often was best to force a specific type of build, uh, if too many people did it, everyone failed. That was not true for when I played TFT back then. Raise for the mech? I'm not playing mechs. I'm going to try to play pirates. I have not seen Sliss's gender reveal. No. It's not like I'm 
not a fan of content or whatever. I'm just I'm just not that invested in really any other streamer. I'm not sure whose gender reveal video I would be interested in watching. Yeah, nobody. I'm sorry. I just just don't really care. I think I'm going to go for it. Pick a new member for your team. Gender reveals, if you don't know, they're like... So first off, it's like, hey, I'm having a kid, right? And then people are like, oh, wow, that's cool. Get ready for a big change in your life, whatever. I kind of get that because, you know, it does it does change a lot of things for the, you know, friend circle, family circle type of shit. I, I, I get that. And the second part of that is, what's it going to be? Oh my god, is it gonna be a boy or is it gonna be a girl? Nobody knows. Oh my god, so exciting. And that that's when you lose me. That's what I'm like. Like, there, there's, there's, uh, the way that I see it, there's no, like, upside downside. It's not like, and it's a boy. Fuck! God damn it. You know? <sighs> Fuck, you know? This is bullshit. Alright, let's try again. One more time. <laughs> it's always like, oh, that's so amazing! Wow! It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> uh. Ah, the cabin hogger is pretty good. By fate or fortune. I just kind of have to count them here. Like that, I guess. Downsides when you have a wife who really wants a daughter, but you have five sons or the opposite. The parents are upset with what they have, but they're hoping for a different outcome. Even that seems so fucked to me, though. I think if you're responsibly having offspring, you should not have any goal in mind in regards to how they're going to turn out in really any way. use another hogger but I guess I guess it's more important that I go like plus gold
Okay. You don't care about gender just if it turns out vegan? True. That would be quite a disappointing outcome, potentially. I should try to play other stuff. Thinking of even selling the... Mm, nah, it's fine. That is interesting. I like that. I think I will go for a golden one. It's not too bad otherwise. Uh, I'm probably dead though. Need you did what had to be done. I'll be taking that. Ha <laughs> I love catching some waves. My seal put on. Ha! You want a tussle? <laughs> this be the life. When did he die? Fuck it. By fate or fortune. Nothing can slow you down. Is, boys there it is <laughs> all right we're, we're ready we're ready to take on some people now Gooder. Okay, dude. Alright, fine. 
fucking party poopers here. I'd still lose the zap though, so... Oh, I should beat that. Beating the other guys. X. Spectacular moves out there. Resist. I guess I'll take the Shargla, because that other guy might use Shargla. I don't know if I should sell the Eliza. If I attack first, it's better, but if I attack second... Well, if I attack second, this will probably kill his Divine Shield Poisonous card, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it might be better to sell one of the three. But it's not every day you get three fucking Eliza's Golden, so... Yeah, I probably should sell one, but I think it's pretty close, given that I know he has a Divine Shield Poisonous Amalgadon. Uh-oh. This is gonna be interesting. It's a big one right there. Alright. I don't know why it comes out over there, but sometimes it does do that. That's a good try, kid. That's a good try. It's a it's an adorable cleave that you did. Very uh very high effort. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so uh keeping the Eliza turned out to be pretty good. <laughs>